We'll get calls sometimes from our customers asking why the fan's not performing like they expected it to perform. They're not getting the amount of air that they were thinking they were going to get. So we'll ask them to send us pictures of the installation. So we're standing next to this fan right here and let's say that instead of this no loss inlet that we have right here, we've got a wall. So a really big wall and the inlet of the fan is right here. So the customer, in order to get their duct down to the fan, take it down from about 30 feet high, running along the edge of the wall, and then a 90 degree turn right in front of the fan. And then let's say, off the outlet, they wanted to go right back into the building. And so they did a U-turn coming out, up, over the fan, and back into the building. Those are called system effects. And they adversely affect your curve. So this, is a fan with no system effects. And this is how your performance curve is made. If you don't have this condition, you're going to actually be operating at a curve that's less than what your sold curve said, if you have system effects that are in your system. So let's take that instance where you've got an inlet that's coming down and at 90 degree turns right in front of the inlet of your fan. Well, think about what the air is doing. It's coming down, it may be in uniform in the middle of that duct, but as it sweeps 90 degrees right in front of the inlet, your air goes down and it loads the bottom of that duct as it's sweeping into the fan. And so the effect is that unlike this, where you have nice uniform flow into the center of the wheel, you have all the flow coming in at the bottom and loading up the blades at the bottom of the wheel. That's bad for your curve. At the outlet, if you take this and you instantly turn it back that way, you've got air that is naturally curling this way. So it's curling in a downward direction and you're instantly sending it up and maybe sending it back. Once again, that has an adverse effect on your curve and it actually physically produces a lesser curve at the same speed than what your original would have been. So in order to get your fan operating as close to your original fan curve as possible, Try to get your system to look as similar to this as you can to mitigate those system effects.